Hey guys, how's it going? Now, you're probably going to wonder some things, and I'm going to do my best to answer as clearly as possible. First and foremost, I am not an adult baby or diaper lover. I never have been, and I never will be. I'm just a third-party person who happens to be an admin on an adult baby, Dr. Lover, baby fur server. Which, you know, after, you know, being a, being a part of this server with a few friends of mine, um, or at least with a friend of mine, and I've, I've made plenty of friends on this server, I've come to really realize that the, the community that I'm currently with in this specific server is a very, very nice community. Everybody's very, very kind and very, very excuse me, very welcoming. And, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of things about this community that I like and The fact that anybody could just hop in and be like, hey, what's up, is pretty freaking good. And I know I'm not the only uh, person that isn't in um, ABDL or a baby fur or, or whatever the heck you want to call it, but um, I'm, I'm, this, I'm, I'm just a normal, normal admin on this one baby fur server. On Discord. So, this video is more or less going to talk about some of the dangers that I see a lot um, when it comes to baby furs and uh, underage uh, people that are in this server and when I mean underage I mean under 18 so a lot of the dangers come with still living with family still living with parents and um, basically just being under the age of 18 meaning that you're not legal to move out or well yeah yeah you you're not legally an adult basically I'm trying to trying to find the words for it so a lot of the things that i find inventing is really really frustrating because it seems that a lot of people that post in the venting chat on the server tend to talk about how they hope that they don't get caught by their family or by their parents or guardian or whatever or that they received a package that had something related towards um, being an adult baby or something, and then basically uh, their family disowning them and stuff like that. That's about 80% of everything I see going on in the venting chat, and it really frustrates me because I wish I could go up to them and tell them, I don't judge you for the for the things that you eat, for the things that you do, for the things that you wear. So why the fuck are you judging your own child? Just because they like being an adult baby. So just just saying. So, first things first, 
let's let's talk about things. Let, 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 let me just direct a message towards parents. If you believe your child is an adult baby or just within this community, if you think your child is in a community filled with adult baby slash diaper lovers or baby furs or whatever, then just know that this this is okay. It's not like that they think that they're another sex or, you know, that they think that their uh, sexual orientation is a helicopter or something other than another human being, then it's okay. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, rat on furries as well because, um, you know, 99.9% .9 of every fucking furry does not want to actually go fuck an actual animal. Jesus, it's definitely not what the furry community is. And, you know, I, I, I'm seeing it firsthand. There's not one person that I see in this chat or in this server or any other server that I'm in, furry, baby fur or not, not one furry wants to fuck an actual animal. So just putting that out for content, or for, yeah, for, for context, that not every furry wants to have sex with an animal other than a human being. Yeah, it's nice to maybe fantasize and go on websites like um, R Rule 34 or other websites that are like that, that have furry content stuff like that it's it's on it's the internet what are you not going to find on the internet so come on you, you 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 cannot hide this stuff from children or from teens growing up that are still jerking off to you know whatever they, they can get their hands on and It's, it's very surprising to see when when you get somebody that says, well, my family found out and they fully support me. I think maybe I've seen a couple of instances where they're, where they're like that. So if again, if you're afraid that your child is like that, I would recommend you learn to accept it. That you accept that your child is, uh, underage or not, is going through this, that you support them going through this. This might not be a, a phase. This might be an actual thing that they're into. So, you know, I would definitely respect their boundaries when it comes to sexual orientation, especially if they um, are interested in the same sex. So, it's got to be said. I'm not the most professional when it comes to talk about sex, but it's got to be said. If you like somebody enough to want to fuck them, then you're going to fuck them, basically. Or do whatever it takes, basically. So, you know, just putting that out there. I mean, if... If you didn't do this when you were a teen, or no, 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 I, I actually no. If you went out and had sex with women when you were in your teens in high school, what gives you the right to force your children not to do that as well? So, you know. Hello, McFly. You in there, McFly? Jesus. So learn to accept it. Learn that this is something that you might not agree with. And if you don't agree with it, then don't let it bother you. 
don't don't put your foot down and say you cannot look at this you cannot talk to people that are like this or you're out of the house you legally cannot do that okay i know in the 48 states within the united states you legally cannot kick your child out if if they're still under 18 you yourself can go to jail for that that's called child abuse so even if, even if they're 17 and their birthday is tomorrow, you legally cannot kick them out. So, you know, there's that. With that being said, I'm sure there's a lot of laws probably pro uh, protecting um, young adults from getting kicked out the way that they do. Um, when they turn 18. I've heard horror stories about people getting kicked out like as soon as they turn 18. Congratulations, you're 18. Have a piece of cake. Get the fuck out of my house. You know, I'm, I, was, I was pretty lucky I didn't get kicked out myself. You know, with all the freaking things that uh, that I was going through with all my anger issues and a lot of other things that happened within my life. So, just know that you legally cannot get kicked out of your house or that if you're a parent, you legally cannot kick your children out of your own house if they're under the age of 18. You you can get in serious trouble for that. Child services might come after you. You might have to pay a hefty fine for kicking your underage child out. So, just putting that out there. I want to I want to go on the internet just to find out can I kick my 17-year-old out for being a, a disgusting adult baby? or whatever okay that's that's another thing just because your children likes something that you deem disgusting doesn't mean it is there's a lot of people on the server that I moderate that do this for pure enjoyment not for sexual orientation or orientation uh, sexual desire or whatever you want to do or what like 80 percent of everybody who's here is an adult baby because they feel that's what they are and i'm not talk i'm not going to go into the topic of feelings because i can give two shits about what people think about me But when monitoring a server like this, a lot of other people feel uh, a lot of other people's feelings come into play, especially when when uh, something like uh, family comes to two topic specifically because they feel that family, more specifically parents, either don't want to support, deny. Uh, deny them access to stuff like internet, um, which you know leads to Discord and stuff like that to the chat rooms that you, your children are hanging out in. And I just want to go for the record: if if you you think your child is just talking to a bunch of online predators, I can assure you they're not. Okay, like. I would say a good 20% of everybody that's in the servers pro is under the age. Um, so, yeah, there's that to think about. Not to mention that not every um, adult baby in this server 
is doing this for the sex. I can tell you I'm not doing this for the sex. I can tell you that I'm not an adult baby. But why am I on this server? Well, actually, I'm on this server for now officially four reasons. The fourth reason being that I became a, 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 an admin, so now I'm moderating the server. But my first official reason was, well, I was invited by uh, my good friend Missing Password, whom you, you guys might know was in our previous podcasts within Roundtable Gaming. Missing Password's a great dude, but he doesn't really do any of the um, adult baby stuff. He might, act, he, he might act like a strict person, but he's actually the most chill guy you'll ever meet. He's actually, yeah, he, he, he's very, very chill. If you ever meet this guy in Discord, just know that he is the most chill person you'll ever meet. He's on my Discord. He's on uh, Spike's Discord. He's he's the owner of this freaking Discord um, that I happen to be an admin in. And he's not the one that admin me. It was uh, one of the other people that uh, that added me as an admin. So him being the owner and then knowing who I am, it was pretty much a plus. So a, a huge shout out to Missing Password and being a really chill owner of the server. So, But I can tell you a lot of things about Missing Password and about how his server operates. And I can tell you that his server is probably, it is one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. Mostly because of how chill and how relaxed it is. Everybody can relax because they all believe in one thing. Everybody's chill because they know they're not going to get attacked every three seconds by somebody that doesn't either like what we do or just get attacked just because to get attacked. There's nobody in the server that attacks anybody just because they want to. There's there's just not. It gets reported and dealt with. So just know that it is a very, very safe community to be a part of. It's one of the safest communities to be a part of. We're not talking about drugs we're not talking about alcohol, and if we do, it's within a safe manner. We got children in this server, so of course we're going to talk about it in a safe manner. We're going to, you know, ensure, uh, assure people that there are dangers when smoking uh, cigarettes or drinking alcohol or vaping or so on and so forth. There is a certain danger in vaping. But it's not what you guys think it is. And I might get into that in a future video. But for now, we're just going to continue to talk about baby furs. And then there's, uh, there's so much more that I could talk about when it comes to safety. And when it comes to, you know, being open about what you believe in. And that's really what this video is solely about is being open to what you believe in. Do you believe that you're a baby fur? Do you believe that you sexually want to fuck a helicopter? If so, there's something wrong with you. Um, but if, if, if you think, or if, if, okay. I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. But I really don't think there is. There's, there's not going to be any better way to say what I'm about to say. But I'll just say this. It really comes down to what you 
believe in. What you believe is right for yourself. And this is more, probably more for me than anything else. And I need to constantly remind myself that I'm not alone. And this goes along with people with depression, people with anxiety or bipolar or so on and so forth. That you are not alone. There's groups for that. There's, you know, Discord servers for that. And again, the Discord server that I'm on is probably one of the best communities that I've ever been a part of, personally. There's absolutely no toxicity. There's no disrespect towards anybody. There's no hate. There's really no gang violence. There's no gang violence. There's no kind of, there's no any type of violence within this server. Because all of the mods and admins and staff believe that everybody deserves a chill, relaxing environment and to have a good time all around. And that's really all that I have to say about that. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to advertise the server that I'm on, but I, I'm not technically going to as of yet. But if, if I am allowed to advertise, you, you guys will most definitely get um, get an official advertisement from old one death eater himself and I would I would share support if you guys know anybody that is going through some kind of issue about families not supporting what they believe in Try to try to help them out as best as possible. Try to talk try to talk to them as best as you can. So hopefully by the time they do turn 18 or by the time they do move out, that they can move on. They can join Discord groups and not be judged. Because at the end of the day, it's my internet I'm paying for my computer I paid my own money with. That's my TV that I paid my my, uh, my own money with. So personally, I ain't one goddamn person in the world that could tell me what I could do with my internet, my laptop, my TV, my sound system, my green screen, my computer chair, and my YouTube channel. Pros of being alone in an apartment. But that's just me. Anywho, I hope this helped out some people and hopefully some parents that are wondering about something like this. So, please, please share this video with anybody that believes that adult baby or diaper lovers it's just another disgusting kink because I can assure you it's not. It's a wonderful commu community to be a part of. And if you don't believe me, take it from a guy who's not an adult baby or diaper lover. Okay? Take it from just a normal person from a third perspective, basically, who is an admin on this server, who is... Basically moderating a server like I would any other server that isn't about furries or baby furs or adult babies or whatever. So take it from me.
a guy that isn't a furry, a guy that isn't a baby or adult baby or whatever, a guy who's not into this kink. Because personally, I don't care. It doesn't affect me in any way. I just like the community. I like being a part of something that isn't, you know, angry at me 24-7. So, who knows? Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a like and a comment down below. And if you're new, please leave a subscribe. All in all, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.